I need y'all to give a one-two round of applause right I'm now so for Anderson Pack right in the building. Yeah. Yeah. And the church said, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey, thank you for coming out. I really appreciate this. You know, I know what to expect, but uh, it's looking like a party. I'm really excited about this album. I think y'all gonna really funk with it. It's gonna be good. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, sir. This album is like creative bliss. This is the, you know, the epitome of what I've always wanted to do. I got to do the whole thing with Dre. He makes and produced the whole thing. This album is about being the same man, but in a new car, you know what I'm saying? So I had a good ass time making it. I feel good about it. It's the last uh, Beach series, you know what I'm saying? We was at Venice. I don't know how many people rock with me since Venice. You know what I'm saying? And then we uh, went to Malibu, yes, you know what I'm saying? Made a little piss out of my homie uh, Knowledge and then started a new group called No Worries and we put out Yes Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Lord. And then now we are uh, in my hometown, Oxnard. You know, I grew up in this city and uh, it's a small town, ain't much over there, but the beach and strawberries and we really about to put the city on the map in a big way after this. Absolutely. You know, so I'm really proud of this and I'm really proud of just uh, being out here in Houston and you know beautiful people and partying with y'all. I just can't wait for y'all to hear it. Yes, That's sir. it. I think uh, UGK, I think, uh, yeah, MC, I think of DJ Screw, I think of Beyonce, I think of Chris Daddy Dave, I think of Robert Glasper, I think of Bilal. Um, yeah. They don't know Bilal from it. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, you know. I think of real, real music. I think of real music. I think of real good food, beautiful people, yes. black people. And, and, you know, it'd be hot as hell out here, and then it'd be cold as hell, too. So, you know, just the ball is um, Today, Anderson, I want you to know, because it's all about the people that are in this presence right now. I want you to add to that list. I want you to look around in the sea of what you're looking at, because this is also Houston. The people that show up in the moment of your greatness, before November the 16th, I want you to take a long look at these people, because we are Houston. I first fell in love, right, huh? I think it was when I seen the movie Juice. Hey, you now. My sister, hey my now. sister took us to see that. I was just a little kid, and I wanted to do anything that was involved in hip-hop after that. I wanted to be a DJ, I wanted to dance, I wanted to go around breaking shit, and I just wanted to be a little hip-hop kid, you know? I just remember that's all I cared about was whenever a new song came out, I locked myself in the room and learned every lyric. That's all I really cared about. So, really? Yeah, I was a little kid, a little youngster, a six-year-old. You still look good. He told me I got that pain in my voice. Mm. That, was, that was the main thing he told oh. me. He oh. said, you got the pain in your voice, and... There's not really anybody that's doing what you're doing. A black man that's rapping and playing an instrument on stage at the same time is something that hip hop hasn't really seen before. Mm -hmm. Not only him, but you know, people like Q-Tip and T.I., they all tell me the same thing, you know, like all the ones that have been in the game for a minute, they say what you're doing is unlike anything that's, that's happened for, before, and that's what they really want. Dre told me, you know, when, when I'm on the mic, it only sounds like you, so, you know. Introduce the first song you want to introduce to us. Okay, well the first song, I, well when I came in here, okay, you want to do All right, the first, it's the first official single, it's called Tense, featuring my homie Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. This is some good old fashioned two step music, you know what I'm saying? If you got some vintage, you got one of them scrapers, you know, you might want to pull out one of them big, big, panty, panty type situations. Two step music, something for the grown and sexy, the young, the old. Yes, Lord! I've been feeling kind of cool. This one's called Who Are You? This one's produced by Dr. Dre and Mel Beats. This is uh, one of the first songs we did when I got back off tour and we just started going crazy. We had the gym, we had the tequila in the studio, and we just having fun. We was up till like 8 a.m. making this one, and it's got that good energy. I don't know if y'all go to festivals or y'all go to them concerts. This is one of them type joints. They turn this on and you start getting real crazy. Table right. starts to flip, and we ain't gonna bring nothing in here, but you know what I'm saying? Bring it in here. Uh, <laughs> bring it in here. <laughs> yeah, this is a good one now. Who are you? Who are you? 
by Dre and Lil B. Hey, hey. They want my fitness on the front page. Headlines. I put prescription in your frame. Sunshine. I had the vision back in 12th grade. Sunshine. That I be killing shit with Dr. Dre. I never wanted to ever be over. over. I'm not Philly, I'm not to be colder. colder. Drop the licky, I might need a chauffeur. Sunshine. Check out my chicky, check out my... Uh. Now who are you? Who the fuck is this? I don't know, I don't know. What she do? Because the way that you're smiling and the way that everything is going, I want you to know, Houston, Texas loves you. From your rooter to your tutor. I don't want you to forget these faces because everybody can't ask their questions. I don't want you to forget the people that's in this building because we are prolific. And Houston, Texas, Texas alone stands on its own. We make platinum artists without major deals and we love you. Last words before you go in this thing, you dig what I'm saying? What is it that you want to leave the universe with right now in Houston, Texas? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, real talk, you know. I ain't got a lot of words, it's just like more of a feeling and I feel the energy tonight, you know what I'm saying? I was feeling a little down before I got here, y'all just lifted it right up. Yeah. So I appreciate that. Yeah. And I know, I know, I know y'all gonna keep that same energy when the album come out, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna come through and we gonna party like a motherfucker. We're gonna shut this whole shit down. It's gonna be crazy. I really appreciate y'all and I love you, H Town, for real. Thank you for showing not only me, thank you for showing the world how to get down Chicky Andy, you know. <laughs> yes, love. Want y'all to know, y'all give a warm round of applause to Mr. Anderson Pack for coming out.